all the celebrities are out, the floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold. Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's gonna cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? Not. This is about proving himself, trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson and knowledge showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC and he has only built on that and become a champion. One of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proving ground here tonight again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Conor McGregor! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Right, Herb Dean, third man Ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Go All right, so here we go, round one, Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. Got to think Conor's going to switch some things up for the rematch. Well, he has to. The first thing he has to do is switch the approach to the fight. First fight, he said he was very defense-minded. Now he needs to go out and fight as Conor McGregor does. Take the pace to Khabib, but just be ready to defend those takedowns. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. 
Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Khabib's right back to the full mount. Oh. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Beautiful jab there by the champ. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Well, he's got his back now. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Constantly a moving target. Oh, he's got his back. Nermanko Medovs is able to flatten him out. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Two minutes have gone by. Do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Working on Ezekiel Choke and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up with a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Just gotta be careful here. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. <laughs> Under two minutes to go. Nurmago Medov's in half goal. Beautiful transition. Nurmago Medov's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, good defense, yes. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Nermako Medov. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not uh, a fun position to be in, in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or... Oh. He's got to be careful here. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Nermago Meta. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. He Bottom needs fighter to move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back in. And Marco Menov's looking for that arm triangle now. Got that submission locked up very tight. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great oh, submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. So close. This time, you want to get it. Get this fight back down to the ground and start thinking about submissions. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfectly. Ready. Round two on the way.
All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mitts meat with that ground and pound. Oh, in the oh he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transitions into the elbows. I mean, he was so he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, his jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face, and there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Nice. Nurmagomedov ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Down into his mount. This is a terrible position. Good movement on the ground here defensively by McGregor. job finding his shots from the top position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. McGregor's in half guard. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damage and strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Nermago Medov. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Nermago Medov's going for a choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he escapes. He got him for a feet. Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, good ground and pound here. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing super. Nermago Madoff's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, shit. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 12 seconds of round number 2. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Emmanuel All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world.